Hey guys, so um, last night I went and saw two films, Annabelle and Gone Girl. Um, I went to pre-screenings of both of them, and uh, I would have posted this last night, or recorded this last night, uh, but I got, didn't get back till like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I was pretty goddamn tired, <laughs> not to say the least. Uh, it just was a long, long day. I, I, like, I went and saw Annabelle at 7... And I saw Gone Girl at 10, so, yeah, that's how long... I was in theater for, like, what, six hours? Jesus Christ. Um, anyways, uh, let's start talking about Annabelle. Annabelle is a movie that I... I was looking forward to it somewhat. I know a lot of people that have been looking forward to it. I keep hearing everybody from work... Uh, friends of mine all like, oh, that looks so goddamn scary. That looks so goddamn scary. I'm not joking. That's like pretty much all I've heard the last few weeks. Um, and uh, I, I liked the teaser trailer for this film. I thought it was a, if you saw my review for the teaser, I thought it was really good and really effective, and I thought it was kind of scary. Um, the second trailer, uh, I thought it was not as good, but I was like, all right. I, I can get behind this. My only problem going in with this was like, you know, <laughs> I don't, they gave enough of a good backstory to the doll in the first five minutes of The Conjuring that I really don't think there's a brilliant reason for this movie to exist. And I was just sitting there, that, that was like my mentality going in. Like, but, you know, maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe, maybe, uh,. It, this movie is not, like, completely unnecessary, not just a fucking cash cow. Um, and, uh, well, it is a cash cow. It is. It's not very good. It isn't. I wouldn't say it's horrible. I've seen a hell lot worse, um, when it comes to horror movies, but this wasn't very good. Um, this is a... Speaking of that, um, if I you didn't catch my last review, I mentioned that this is uh, this October, this month, I'm going to be doing a horror movie a review, a horror movie review each week, and this is the start of it. And I'm in trouble if this is a sign of things to come, because <laughs> this movie wasn't very good. Um, uh, it's it is it, like I said, it is completely unnecessary. That's one of the biggest issues with this movie, is it's completely unnecessary. If you watched the first five minutes of The Conjuring and saw the origin story of Annabelle, the story of Annabelle, just watch that. Don't watch this movie. It's it's basically, basically this movie is just tells you what happens before it got to the nursing students. It does show scenes of uh, the nursing students. Uh, it like shows like added scenes. Like, them explaining how they got the doll, whatever. Um, and kind of give a little bit more of a backstory about the doll. But, um, this movie, I mean, it does have some creepy moments. So I'll, I'll give it that. It does have some creepy moments. Very few and far between. The most, probably the creepiest moments of the fucking movie were, were just still shots of the fucking doll. That doll is fucking creepy. There are some really creepy <laughs> shots of that doll in this movie, Annabelle. Um, she... And it doesn't help also that this mom, who... This is bad parenting, <laughs> in my opinion, fills her baby's room full of dolls, and they're all fucking creepy. <laughs> and it's like, you're gonna give this kid fucking nightmares for the rest of his life. <laughs> what the fuck? Um... I, uh, what, what, no, acting, acting in this movie is not very good either, um, especially that female, or the mom, I thought she wasn't very good, <laughs> I didn't think, she was very wooden, um, definitely very wooden of an actress, uh, she didn't, it, like, she would not really show much emotion when something really fucking serious was happening, or fucking even worse was the, uh, the, the black girl, uh, the na black neighbor, um, that just randomly comes in and help get get her story randomly and uh, half like halfway through the movie, almost towards the end of it, and you're supposed to get a feel sorry for this character, really, I couldn't give a fucking shit. 
Um, yeah, she was not very good either. The only person that seemed like I actually have a fucking personality was the husband. Um, he was at least trying to show some personality. Um, yeah. Also, this movie is filled with, like, every fucking horror cliche of the last ten fucking years. It is. It's like, this, and that's something I wouldn't bitch about too much, but it is, it is, like, very noticeable. There's fucking jump scares everywhere. There's... There's that fucking cliche that I hate the most that is, like, prevalent. I, I Nobody mentions this. I'm hoping I'm not the only one who continuously notices this in a lot of horror movies lately. But, ever notice, in a lot of horror movies, especially fucking found footage movies, this happens all the fucking time, where there's a scene where the main character is down on the ground, and they're crawling away from something that's coming after them, or something like that, and fucking it pulls them back, and they start screaming. You've seen that fucking cliche a million times, and I'm like, ah, I fucking hate that. Like, the foul footage movies, it's always prevalent everywhere. <laughs> it's usually a female that <laughs> happens to it, it happens in this one, too. Um, honestly, this movie wasn't that bad for me until, like, halfway through the movie when they decide that this movie, you know what this the, the the plot of this movie is? It's the plot of Paranormal Activity 2. Verbatim. I'm not joking. It is. If you see Paranormal Activity 2. Except for, it doesn't end the same way as Paranormal Activity 2, which, that would have been kind of awesome. Um, because I didn't really give a shit about anybody, any of these characters. At least with Paranormal Activity 2, I did give a shit about some of the characters. Um... I I really like Paranormal Activity too. Uh, the, the, I thought it was better than the first one, um, but yeah, it also includes a fucking demon. And instead of like, and unlike fucking Paranormal Activity, where you don't see the demon, you do see the demon in this movie, and it's a big giant fucking horn thing. And they're like, what? I, and like, when that first popped up, I'm like, why is there a demon in this movie now? What the fuck? Why? It's like, and it, it, it's so fucking stupid. It is really dumb. <laughs> I, there's not much, I don't want to go into too much detail and give it away. And I don't know. Uh, but, like, once it started with the demon shit, I was like, alright. This movie's lost me. I, I, I just, it, it, this movie isn't very good. Um, and then, also, this movie tries to fucking tie in with the first one, or The Conjuring. Like, I was, like, kind of curious at the end of the movie. I was like, alright, how the fuck does this doll end up in the hands of the nursing students after this? And the nursing students at the, be at the beginning of the movie explained that her mom gave her the doll. She don't know where she got it. So I'm like, okay, where, how does this mom get the doll then? It's just convenient. Like, like, I'll just tell you, it's conveniently in a store that she walks into, and she buys it. And you're like, that was fucking stupid. I was just like, all right, that was fucking stupid. Uh, I, and at that point, I was like, this movie was pretty dumb. Uh, yeah, this movie wasn't very good. Um, nowhere near as good as The Conjuring. Not even fucking close. I'm so. Oh, I, I I can tell the people I went and saw it, or the people the crowd I was with liked it. There, there was one lady that go <gasps> every time like something fucking walked across the screen. Even though that was another problem. If you've seen the trailers, you've seen pretty much most of the fucking scares in this movie. <laughs> Seriously, every fucking scare that happens in this movie is pretty much in the trailers. Um, yeah. Uh, so I knew every one of them. Like it was. It, but people behind me still were fucking scared by it. I... I don't know. Um... Yeah, this movie isn't very good. <laughs> it was it was disappointing, because, you know what, it could have been good. It, 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 you got a creepy uh, story. You're like, you get, that doll's fucking creepy, and you could make a pretty good story out of it. I should have been worried that it was being directed by a guy who... He's been a cinematographer for James Wan, the uh, guy who made The Conjuring, also made Saw, stuff like that for years. But he's also directed two other movies, only two other movies, and that is 
Mortal Kombat Annihilation and the Butterfly Effect, uh, the, uh, the Butterfly Effect 2. I never saw the Butterfly Effect 2. I see Mortal Kombat Annihilation, and that was horrible. <laughs> that was very horrible. So, yeah, I should have known that this was going to be a bad movie. Um, I mean, it doesn't have as bad special effects like the fucking Mortal Kombat uh, Annihilation did. Uh, yeah, so I don't really recommend it. Uh, I mean, would it be Dwarf or Rental? Maybe. It's, it's, like I said, it's not that horrible. I mean, it's nothing like... I wasn't pissed off about it. I wasn't, like... Furious. I at the end of the day, it was just like, all right, that was a movie I watched. Um, as far as trailers, uh, I got Horrible Bosses Two, which honestly looks really funny. Um, I was really surprised how funny that actually looked. Um, I remember when I heard they were doing a Horrible Bosses Two, and I'm like, why? There's no reason to make a Horrible Bosses Two. I, I it's obvious a fucking cash cow, but. It's, this one's got Christoph Waltz and uh, Chris Pine, and it looks like it's gonna be a lot of. Fun. It, there was a lot of funny uh, jokes in that fucking trailer. Uh, I honestly, it looks fine. It looks like it'll be funny. I like the first horrible, horrible bosses. This could be good. Uh, at least they got everybody to come back in it. Um, yeah, like even Kevin Spacey and Jennifer Aniston are even popping up in this movie. Um, Jupiter Ascending. Um, that's that why Wachowski Brothers movie that was supposed to come out in like July and it now has moved to February and it looks like it's going to be really unintentionally bad and some of the acting in that is going to be really horrible, looks really horrible. Like you can tell that this, speaking of wooden acting from fucking Annabelle, this looks like it's going to be a definition of fucking wooden acting. Um, it doesn't look very good. Uh, it's special... It's a Wachowski Brother movie, and of course the, look, the special effects look amazing, but I don't think it's going to be very good, though. Um, plus, it's, it was moved to February, so it's usually never a good sign. Uh, Taken 3, I'm actually surprised that, honestly, I'm kind of sold on this movie. Um, <laughs> I didn't like Taken 2. I liked, I, mean, I love Taken. I hated, I, I didn't like Taken 2 very much, but honestly, this doesn't look that bad. I like, this, I was like, when I first started making a Taken 3, I'm like, really? They're making a Taken 3? Like, how many times can you fucking get Taken? No, this time, Brian Mills is, or uh, Liam Neeson's, uh, being framed for Famke Jensen's, his wife's murder. Which, alright, Famke, I don't know if I'm saying her name, name wrong here, Famke Jensen... Uh, she's, she must have not wanted to do this third movie, so she got it out by having her character die, so, <laughs> good for her. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, that could be interesting, and they somehow got Forrest Whitaker to be in this movie, okay. And like, what the hell are you doing here, Forrest Whitaker, your Oscar-winning actor? <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know. Um. I got a new trailer for men, women, and children. Still, man, I, 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 honestly, I wasn't really paying attention to that trailer too much. I can honestly say, um, there was some weird shit going on in the movie theater that distracted me for a little while. Um, but, uh, which isn't, which, uh, I wish I could tell that story. I, I don't know if I can even tell that story. But, yeah, from what I can tell, it's just about the, uh, a bunch of series of stories about how we don't know the people that we're very close to or our family members. And it's from, um, from, uh, Jason Reitman. Eh, I like Jason Reitman, so I don't know, maybe it'll be good. Uh, and the last one I got was, oh, the re-release of Saw, uh, trailer. Uh, I love the Saw movies. I wish there was another Saw movie instead of the re-release of the first Saw, but honestly... Uh, the first Saw was the only one I never saw in the theater. Maybe I'll go see it. I don't know. Um, there's, I don't think there's anything else coming out that week, so maybe I might as well. Um, it's, it, it's crazy. I think that movie's been out ten years now. I've seen that movie like a million times, and I've seen. I don't. I don't know if I want to see it in theaters again. Um, I mean, when I could just watch it on DVD. 
I hope that they're fucking gonna do an eighth movie because I'm still pissed about how that series ended. They're, they need to make another fucking movie. There's no reason for them not to make another movie. Um, and it, it does, it, like, Halloween doesn't feel the same without this movie's a new movie every week. Or new movie every year, like uh, they used to do. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna take a little break before I go st start talking about Gone Girl. Um, and I'll be back. Uh, don't lose the Annabelle.